Hey everybody and welcome to the Plant Stock channel. If we haven't met yet, my name is Jesse and on this channel we focus on plant-based companies like Beyond Meat to name a few. Here today we're going to talk about what's going on with Beyond Meat. They've had a really hard time in the last couple of months again and we need to know what's going on, right? So I'm going to do my best to try to explain that. And uh, by the way, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, make sure to smash that bell button, that subscribe button. If you want to keep getting more information regarding this company, Beyond Meat, maybe also regarding the very good food company, Oakley and Tattoo Chef, to name a few. And I would surely appreciate an early thumbs up since it does help spread the video. Well, first of all, let's just take a look at the stock price in the stock chart. Ticker symbol BYND. Right now it is trading at around $114.97, so about $115. And on Friday, it closed minus 4%. So there's a lot of things happening here. And as always with this company, we have to expect it. That is quite volatile, right? Especially in a market that is as volatile as it is right now. And as we talked about on many occasions, that means that a company that is disruptive, that is a growth company, is going to hurt a lot more. But that also means that when things are looking up, this company is going to fly up a lot more as well. But if we take a look at the 52-week range, it's been amazing here. From under 100 bucks to $221. So a lot of things happening there. But what is going on now then? Why are people so specifically nervous right now? And I would say one of the bigger reasons right now, except the market overall, is that the COO stepped down just a few days ago. Really, we're not getting any information from Beyond Meat why that happened. He had been there for about two years. He had a key role when it came to how the production and how the scaling is going in, in on an international scale. So it is kind of scary that he just quit his job. He wanted to quit immediately, and we're not getting any information. And obviously, that is going to affect most investors in different ways. So that could be part of the reason, hoping to hear soon why that is, though, what happened, just to soothe the minds of some investors out there. And another thing is obviously that Beyond Meat did miss its earnings, right? But really, they did, I would say, pretty well. Some of you maybe saw the conference calls with me, right? Uh, and we talked about it. I mean, they got about $149 million. I mean, which is really, it blew away expectations, right? Most people didn't think it would be over $142 million, and yet they got $8 million more. But one of the issues here, obviously, was that when it comes to Q3, they have really pushed down uh, their expectations for them, right? Because the analysts thought it would be around $153 million, right? Doing more than they got now in Q2. But actually, beyond themselves, are talking about 120 million to 140. Still a wide span there, but it's because of the Delta variant right now. And I think it's a good idea to be cautious there because they did really do well now during summer. Because as I expected, and I talked about that, a lot of people have taken their vaccines, so people during summertime would go out eating a lot more in restaurants. And that's why also the stores suffered a lot more. But now the Delta variant is worse again, or sorry, the whole pandemic is worse again because of the Delta variant, which means obviously that there'll be a chance that less people go out eating again. They're going to get more worried. They're going to have masks again, and this is going to affect their overall sales. There's no question about that. So that is something that they're probably factoring in here, right? And then also back in June, there was some speculation from JP Morgan's Ken Goldman. We know already that Dunkin' Donuts started to drop some of their products, right? Uh, but he speculated they're going to drop more products uh, in their 9,000 locations. Uh, and that's something that's going to scare off a lot of people too, obviously. But it's important to remember that is nothing that's been confirmed as of yet because Dunkin' themselves hasn't made an official announcement. And they are sticking to that their Beyond Breakfast sandwich is going to continue to be one of their uh, menus 
at several hundred locations across the country. So we don't know. That's something also we need to wait for. But lest we forget, there has been some good news that came out a couple of weeks ago regarding Beyond Meat that they launched a vegan pepperoni for their cooperation with Yum Brands Pizza Hut, right? Uh, so they're producing their own vegan pepperoni to have on their Beyond Meat Pizza Hut items, right? And as we know, that's a branded product. And it's going to be available at only right now 70 locations in five cities, but it's still a good beginning, right? And we also know that they, they also launched Beyond Chicken that is going to be about 400 restaurants nationwide. And I do expect that's going to be way bigger. We also found out that Beyond's Chicken Line was followed by news on the July 13th that fast food eatery Panda Express will pilot plant-based chicken items. So I think they have about 100 stores or so. Uh, where are they going to sell their products? Not that many as we're used to when it comes to Beyond Meat, but again, it's a start. And I've talked about this before. I think the chicken alternative is going to be way bigger because most people in the world eat more chicken than red meat, meaning that there's a much bigger market out there for having chicken alternatives. And let's not forget there are different partnerships again with PepsiCo, with McDonald's, and with the Yum! brands, right? And they're partnerships that really hasn't started going yet. As we found out from the Q1 conference call, according to CEO Brown, that these won't really take to effect until the end of this year. So we won't see those kind of revenues until probably later in Q1, Q2 of 2022. So also, we shouldn't forget about China because that's the huge opportunity here that we have in Asia. There's really no other plant-based company out there that actually has their own facility on mainland China producing for the Chinese population, right? And they are trying to really create specific products for the Chinese consumer. And that is obviously going to be big long-term. So again, this is a long-term perspective, right? This is a long-term company that you want to be invested in. I would say no less than five to 10 years. But if we take a look at where they're at today, look at the 52-week range, we know it's been a volatile time, right? So, but is it an investment for today? Well, that's going to be up to you guys. But I would say only if you are for the whole long run, right? But also, if we take a look at the statistics here, if we take a look at the PS ratio. It was just recently around 22, 23. It's down to 16 again, right? And we know their history. It's been really up and down. Again, normally about 20 to 30 percent short interest in this company. We'll see this going up again sooner or later. With that said, there is a chance that it still goes less than this, right? That it could go down lower. But if you're in this for the next three to five to ten years, that shouldn't matter to you. That's just short-term noise. It by opinion, anyways. So that's something to think about. All right, folks, that was it for today. I truly hope you got a lot of value from today's video. And if you did, make sure to smash that like button. And if you want to keep getting more information regarding this company or other plant-based companies like, for instance, Tattoo Chef, the very good food company in Oatly, to name a few, make sure to subscribe and don't forget that bell button. And as always, this wasn't financial advice. These were just my own thoughts and opinions. That's important to always remind yourself of to do your own due diligence and invest safe. Hope to see you soon. Peace out.